Yes, I think any time, as a, as a profession obviously, and if you're a professional, you have to obviously display particular traits, and that means that you're obviously working with a, with a wide range of athletes. If you're working with school children, there's obviously appropriate behaviours that you need to display around those, and you probably um, have slightly different behaviours working with a, a school child as compared to working with a senior athlete, um, with obviously perhaps the uh, level of language that you use and um, the image in particular that you perhaps are trying to portray, so you need to be aware of that. Obviously have clear boundaries with the, the various groups you're working with, uh, and make sure that that's clearly understood, and that comes down also to uh, the level of discipline where you might have to work with particular athletes uh, who perhaps um, don't really have a, or they might have had a bit of different upbringing and uh, you need to work them into the squad and have a clear understanding of, of what uh, is expected or what's accepted within the squad. Cycling definitely relies heavily on volunteers, um, especially at a junior level with kids getting into the sport. I suppose it's like any sport where the, the mums and the dads and um, the, the co coaches that have taken their time to complete courses so that they can provide back to the kids. So volunteers are a very big um, part of our sport and also the, the officials so that racing can actually take place. And on that front, um, having good uh, relationships with authorities such as the local governments and the police force so that we can actually use the roads in a safe way.